me again. Away from me. Touch him again. You're touch me. Fuck. You're getting yeah. close. Touch me again. Go on. Touch you're me again. You can't touch me again. You can't touch me. You bet. You bet. Hold this now. You bet. You ain't allowed to touch me. Let me tell you something, you little cunt. You can't get I ain't from around here. Do you know who I am? No. No? I'm Mari's mum. Yeah. Can you stop yeah, pussy I'm Mari's mum. No, I ain't just gonna stop getting close. Touch my son again and I'll rip your fucking face off. You hear about parents saying, I'd die for my kids before I let them be in harm's way. But Jesus Christ, some parents are a liability. If you put your children in a situation where you are knowingly putting them in harm's way, then you are a moron. So, to all the crappy parents out there, never do what this woman did. It's beggar's belief. Meet Vicky Holland from Newport, South Wales. This woman rather stupidly decided to get involved in a drugs trade. Not only that, but out of all the classes of drugs to deal, whether it be over-the-counter drugs or prescription medication or even cannabis, she decided she wanted to be a cocaine cowboy. Cocaine is classed as a Class A drug, Imagine for a second you're selling drugs and you happen to get caught. Am I able to tell the police officer, please don't send me to jail because I have four young children? Effectively, that's what Vicky Holland's defence was. In an act of stupidity, she hid £1,600 worth of cocaine in her children's kinder eggs at her home. Now, just for a moment, think of the bigger implications. Why the hell would you hide drugs in the Easter eggs? Knowing that it's not far-fetched for your kids to sneak chocolate when you're not looking. A court heard Holland and her partner, 42-year-old Russell Cox, was rumbled when police raided their home after a tip-off from a member of the public. Once breaking down their front door in Newport, South Wales, police quickly began to gather evidence. A court heard the police found cocaine and Kinder Eggs containing £1,600 worth of the Class A drug. They were prepared in wraps for deals typically worth between £20 and £30. Evidence on both individuals' phones also disclosed a small dealing operation. The criminal couple were not criminality savvy. Police quickly realised they used their own personal phones in order to make drugs for cash transactions. A quick scan of messages and call logs revealed that both individuals were involved in the crime. Holland and Cox both admitted to possession with intent to supply a Class A drug at Newport Crown Court. Her defence team argued that Holland regretted the decision and classed it as a moment of madness and the biggest fear was what would happen to her four young children if she was sent to prison. Cox's defence team disclosed he sold drugs in order to fund his own drug habit and it was a necessity because he had gotten into debt. Now my only criticism on the case is that you can't decide to be a drug dealer, accept the risks involved, deal with personal mobile phones and hide the drugs in an item that attracts kids and then decide that you can't go to prison because your kids are dependent on you. If you care so much for your kids in the first place then you wouldn't have sold drugs and if you decide you want to take that risk you wouldn't operate drug dealings from your own home or put drugs in an item that your kids could potentially take and then eat. Case in point, putting your four young children in danger. The judge, however, did agree that Holland would not have become involved in the drugs crime if her partner hadn't had an addiction. For their crime, Cox was jailed for 30 months and Holland was jailed for 20 months, suspended for two years. Since being given another chance, Cox has sought out for his addiction, been drug-free since May and has also got a job as a delivery driver for a kebab shop. So fair play to the guy. Hopefully they've learnt their lessons and good luck. Safe.